was after man discovered fire before we burned something alive. <laughs> Probably same guy, same day. <laughs> I, I think someone came out of the woods like, holy shit, look what this does. Hey, Jerry's sleeping. <laughs> he owes me five rocks, let's do it. <laughs> so, all about me, I work as a driver in Boston. I drive around all day. And a little thing you learn when you drive in a big city like Boston is that sometimes, the nearest public restroom is the water bottle in the back of my van. Yeah, I know, and it's really hard to poop in a water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> really tough. You know, my favorite thing about driving around Boston, the thing that keeps me going during the day is the road rage. It's, it's so much fun. I don't, I don't get road rage, to be clear. I just like antagonizing the people that do. I think that's fun. Like, if I get you to honk at me, I win. That's... It's not going to end well, I'll put it that way. I'm not... I, because I, I, I love it, and, and I had a wake-up call recently where I watched a guy in my neighborhood get out in broad daylight kick another his door in, right? Now, it's not that surprising because I'm in Boston, but what was surprising to me about it was that that guy was wearing scrubs. <laughs> this was like a doctor on his way to a surgery. Like, I know this guy might die on the table later, but this guy needs to die right now. <laughs> how deep it runs, and like, nobody is safe. Nobody is safe. And I had that moment, I'm like, oh, that's gonna end up me. I'm gonna get my door kicked in, because I like to provoke people. And, and so I was like, I should get a weapon to protect myself, you know? And I, right, I thought about getting a gun, and then I did. I ended up getting a baseball bat instead. And that's really just for one reason, which is that I suffer from depression. And unlike a gun, guys, it's really hard to kill yourself with a baseball bat. <laughs> you have to really earn that, you know? Like, that is the one time that suicide is not the coward's way out. <laughs> Good on you. But I got this bat, and I realized, like, that's not much better. If I'm driving around provoking people all day and then they get out and I'm attacking them with a bat, like now I'm the asshole here, like it's clear. So what I did instead is I actually have two bats in my car. So I'm waiting for the day someone just gets out all pissed off and I just jump out with both of them and throw them one, like let's do this! I think that's scarier. I thought about this too, right? If that guy gets out of his car with a bat already, I'm just gonna get out with a baseball. <laughs> and then if you get pulled over, like, that's not a weapon in my car anymore, I'm just an athlete. <laughs> I do, I had a weird experience about a year ago, I was in the middle of, like, central Pennsylvania, at a, at a red light, middle of, middle of, like, coal country, small town USA, and the light turned green, and I didn't notice, and then the guy behind me just let me figure that out. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea what to do. I saw a green light and a guy chilling, and I became convinced that one of them was a hallucination. It's like, it's like glitch in the matrix, I'm about to die. Where is it? <laughs> I didn't know what to do. Because in Boston, you have like four seconds of the green light before your tires are just slashed. <laughs> like someone's jumped out of their car, like, well, you weren't using these anyways. <laughs> I think that's weird though, you know, because here in Boston, like, this is like the liberal mecca of America, right? Like, this was the first state to legalize gay marriage. We have this history of, like, diversity and inclusion and acceptance that we try to pride ourselves on here. But as far as I'm concerned, the state slogan of Massachusetts should just be, Hey man, you can be anyone you want here. You can be gay, straight, black, white, Asian, Latino, Mexican, whatever. Just not slow when the light changes. <laughs> Drawing the line at the stop line, now go! <laughs> I just think that's really weird, you know, because when I go back to central Pennsylvania, in the middle of that, like, red state, you know, small town USA, that guy behind me is in a truck, just like, look, man, you take as long as you need. <laughs> just don't be queer about it. <laughs> I think self driving cars can be really fun. I think that's gonna be really cool. Most things I think it's gonna be really funny to watch them get mad at robots. <laughs> they flip out and there's no one in the car. Like, you just have to take that home with you now. There's no... <laughs> but I think there's a lot of questions we need to answer about self-driving cars. The main one that I always come to, but I don't think we figured out yet, 
Because it will happen is, uh, what happens? Somebody happens to die right, while they're in a self-government car. Because the car is not going to know. It's just going to keep driving. It's a car. You know? Like, what happens if it's Christmas? And your whole family is waiting for your grandfather to finish you from across the state. <laughs> and then the car just delivers his corpse. <laughs> you get mad you ruined Christmas again? Like, <laughs> Why are his hands on the wheel? I thought it grew up, it grew up itself. You know, you feel it's called rigor mortis. Your kids go inside. Let the grown-ups deal with There's no discount for sorry, we Ubered you a dead body. That's the... You know what? You guys have been a ton of fun. My name is Ben Quick, and enjoy the rest of the show.